the the idea of the forum was really built on the success of the last edition of the Africa CEO Forum in Kigali. Uh, it feels like an eternity now after <laughs> after 18 months of COVID, uh, where we haven't seen all of our friends in in in, in uh, physical uh, uh, reality. Uh, but when we at that moment we really felt an incredible surge of enthusiasm of ambitions among the participants uh, in the light of the promises uh, offered by the CFTA, uh, the promises of new opportunities uh, for the uh, for the African private sector. So uh, this uh, everybody was really thrilled. So we very quickly decided that we should focus our work on um, helping make the CFTA a business reality for the Africa private sector. And so for us, the way to, to do that was to try to engage a little bit more and go at the industry or sector specific level and create platform with a great uh, component of public private dialogue uh, to um, uh, identify all the challenges that hamper uh, integration and uh, growth. So the idea was to create this uh, sector specific. We chose the financial industry because it's obvious. It's obvious because of its size. It's obvious because of the impact it has on the economy, both uh, as a fuel for business and as a facilitator of integration, but also, and you mentioned it uh, early in your speech, because it has an immense responsibility in terms of financial inclusion. So this choice was also comforted uh, comforted by our study of how the European re, European you sorry European Union uh, created its uh, economic integration uh, process and uh, very early in the two, year 2000 uh, the financial industry was at the center of uh, all of its planning so we were very comfortable choosing the financial industry to to make our first uh, mark on the CFTA we decided to uh, take a holistic approach uh, to talk to everybody, banks, insurance, capital markets, telecom operator, the new disruptors in fintech, and of course, uh, regulators to contribute to one goal, uh, the strengthening and the integration of the African, African financial markets.